So let's know about the questions that will be answered by Juno, spacecraft that had successfully delivered into the Jupiter orbit. After an epic five-year journey where it is slung shot around the Earth to gather speed and travels for 2.8 billion kilometers, it will now circle Jupiter for 20 months before plunging to a crushing death in Jupiter's harsh and dense atmosphere. Any reports we get from Juno actually happened 48 minutes and 19 seconds earlier. That's how long it takes light to get from Juno to Earth. So we have some questions that will be answered by Juno. One of the biggest question is, what is at the core of Jupiter? Scientists are not sure whether it is started off as a rocky planetary core which then gathered all the gas that today makes up most of the planet or whether it formed from an unstable region in a gas cloud. Another question scientists hope to answer is how much water is in the planet. For scientists, that's a measure how much oxygen there is logged up as the O in H2O based on measurement made from Earth. There seems to be less oxygen on the planet than there is in other object in other region of the solar system. And the second biggest question is how does that eye remain so stable? By diving below the clouds, Juno aims to map the structure and the motion of the atmosphere that will help scientists see how deep the feature we see on the surface penetrate and figure out how they formed and why they remain for so long. So we have some conversation from the NASA. After a five-year voyage across 1.8 billion miles, 2.8 billion kilometer, NASA Juno spacecraft has reached Jupiter and successfully entered its orbit. Braving intense radiation and the field of space rocks, the prop inches into the orbit of the largest planet in the solar system at 3.18 GMT. The maneuver was extremely complex with the craft first having to slow down then turn off its engine to enter Jupiter orbit at exactly the right moment. Juno's success prompted joy at NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory where team members had been watching the probe's progress with bated breath. And that is all about NASA's new spacecraft entered in the orbit of Jupiter. That's all for now. For more updates like that, don't forget to subscribe Cover Station.